Don't do this ever. All of this is prohibited. This is for educational purposes only. This is Andrea, and she's addicted to eating tape. This is Thomas. He's addicted to balls. What? No, 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 I'm not. Pan the camera down. Oh, down. Uh... You obsessed freak, you need to grow up. I'm on a quest to try the strangest addiction some people have. And the way I will do this is through the TLC series My Strange Addiction, which is where all the addictions will come from. Now, the majority of these addictions are horrible for the human body, and will probably kill you one day. And I'm not trying to die over a YouTube video today, so I'm gonna keep it safe by not actually consuming anything. And just know that if you even attempt to try these addictions that are coming up, I will be greatly disappointed in you. And there's a big chance you will not be invited to my birthday party at the trampoline park. And once we get through all these crazy addictions, I'm going to share with you my own addiction. One that has haunted my life for the past couple of years. Now let's get back to Andrea. Number one tape consumer, N.A. And possibly worldwide. But not anymore! Because this lady is 10 years sober! <laughs> I- I think I can say that. Is that how it- uh. For a lot of her life, Andrea was addicted to eating and chewing scotch tape. Straight up. She used to eat up to 200 feet each day. Not actual feet, like 200 feet of tape. That equates to 14 miles a year of tape. This is truly fascinating information. And I wanted to put this addiction to the test. So I got some yummy scotch tape and prepared to chow down. Andrea thinks this stuff, or thought this stuff was the stuff. I, d I don't know how to actually eat this. She was addicted to chewing it and eating it. And I think she did it, she folded it like that. We're gonna see how addicting this stuff is though. It just tastes like nothing. I've had worse things in my mouth before. Maybe I have to get my tongue on the sticky. Pause. I am gonna have to wash my mouth out. I feel like I have mycoplastics running through my system right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn into a Lebron James Bunko Box. All this did for me was remind myself of my own terrible addiction. The tape tasted like a big bowl of nothing, but it smelled good, and the overall experience was quite ass! And speaking of ass, that just made me think of what the excrement would look like with 200 feet of tape in it. Oh, oh, oh god. I, I just made you picture it too, I, I'm sorry. You can stop thinking about it now. On the topic of excrement, however, sometimes people use this stuff known as toilet paper. And that is exactly what Kina is addicted to. This mother eats four rolls of toilet paper a day. That's 14,000 rolls of toilet paper in the last 20 years. I don't even think I use four rolls a month. I can say a lot more about eating toilet paper, but Kina's ex-fiance Anthony sums it up quite well. You know, toilet paper is not meant for human consumption. Like, it doesn't break down in your body. It's gross, man. Unfortunately, the toilet paper this woman ate, it wasn't used. Also, the one she ate was one ply, and I only have two ply here, I think. Look at, look at that. That's, that's, that's like, that's luxury. I've never really seen toilet paper with waves on it. All right, one ply toilet paper. She brings this stuff everywhere. Like, there, there's a shot of her going to the nail salon and just inhaling this, and this is, this is the lady's reaction. It's really good. But as you can see, <coughs> toilet paper does get in my respiratory system. It's time to see how addicting this stuff is. Oh, it just tastes like nothing. I feel like most of these are are the like people are addicted to. Oh, no, hold on, hold on. Sorry about that. I just I just cleansed my soul with holy water. I think probably why these people get addictions to these things is because of the textures of them and like the sensation it gives to their teeth and tongue. That this tastes like nothing. Like I don't know if she has flavored toilet paper. I don't even know why you would get flavored toilet paper. I my body doesn't like the sensation of this in my mouth. It just it dried out my mouth immediately and it left crumbs in there. Like you know how when you wipe, you leave some crumbs. That's exactly what happened in my mouth. Kina compared eating toilet paper to eating a PB and J with no crust. One ply is like eating a PB and J without the crust. What the hell kind of crack is in that toilet paper? What are you talking about? That experience was horrible. My mouth felt like Spongebob in that one episode where he wasn't wet. 
Don't even think about doing that, and save the toilet paper for your other bodily cavities. But yet again, eating toilet paper pales in comparison to my own addiction. And each one of these I try reminds me more and more of the terrible nightmare I live in. Speaking of rocks, this woman's name is Teresa, and she's addicted to eating them. Not pop rocks, not candy rocks, but actual geology. One of the main attractions to them for her is the earthy smell. This woman must have the nose of a canine police dog looking for drugs, because the last time I sniffed a rock, I didn't smell anything. Anyways, she loves granite because she likes to taste the minerals in it, and she will get big pieces of granite and crush it down into bite-sized rocks and eat it like that. Two pounds of rock a day is 730 pounds a year, which equates out to 14,600 rocks over the span of 20 years consumed by her. But now, it's my turn. Lil Baby reference. I'm not trying to eat rocks. I'm not go- I don't want to chew these. I could get an addiction to collecting rocks. I've had that before. But eating them, I'm, I'm not sure. I think I've put rocks in my mouth before. I don't know. Okay, let's try Mr. Potato Head first. Look at like a popsicle. Uh, uh, uh. That that was the one that I thought it, it would have the least amount of flavor. So I'm gonna move on to this one. Mm. I'm eating it like a chipmunk. I'm not trying to break my teeth, so I'm not gonna bite it. But the smoothness of this one is actually really nice. There's no flavor to it though. That one was the best one so far. This one looks like it has some. It's it's like tri-colored it, it's got to have some minerals in there it's got to have some extra taste this one's also pretty smooth too we'll, we'll see how it is <coughs> oh my body just convulged i had to go to the bathroom i thought i was gonna throw up i didn't even eat anything none of this stuff is going into my stomach There's, none of these even tasted bad they didn't Tastes like anything. I, th I think some some people are born Pokemon. I don't I don't know. This lady is crazy. Actually, all, all three of them are. But you know what? So am I. And I have an addiction that may trump all of them in the ridiculousness category. And I'm about to show you it. But please do not try it. And please do not make fun of me. This addiction runs deep. And I'm not sure how to stop it. So without further ado, here is my addiction. Hi, I'm Thomas. This is my addiction. The Chad phase isn't something I'm proud of. It started 10 years ago when I was 9, and ever since then my life has been overshadowed by this terrible thing. Thomas does the Chad phase for 18 hours a day, which is 6,570 hours a year, and he has done it for 65,000 hours since he was 9. I can't get away from it even when I'm crying, listening to Ken Carson, or even sleeping sometimes. It isn't something I do on purpose. <sighs> My face just acts on its own accord. It's just a horrible thing that I cannot stop from happening. Hey you! Subscribe, because you, you obviously enjoyed this thing. And there's more to come. Not more addictions, more videos, dumbass. So have a day.